Welcome back. Tim Breckenridge with Beta Church Schools is joining us in the studio today to talk all about the parent portal. So parents, listen up. And first of all, Tim, I'm just going to have you explain what the parent portal is for Beta Church Schools. All right, yes. Yeah, so uh, parent portal um, for Beta Church Schools is where you're going to log in and view um, all of your students' information, um, all their courses, their attendance, their grades, the assignments that they have. Uh, so it's kind of like a window into your student's uh, education. And obviously having a window into your student's education is very important. Mm -hmm. So explain what other reasons are as important for parents to be involved and have the parent portal. Um, one of our biggest areas of concern with parent portal is uh, keeping your contact information up to date. Um, we want to make sure uh, that your phone numbers are correct, your address is correct, your email address is correct, any type of contact information is up to date. Um, if you are to move, uh, you can go into your parent portal and update your address. Uh, that requires you to go to the school and uh, provide two proofs of that new address and they'll approve that for you there. Uh, but yeah, keeping uh, your contact information up to date is extremely important. And that system drives other systems. So when you get alerts, phone calls, emails from the school, all that comes off of your contact information and parent portal. And we were talking in the break. There is something that parents need to pay attention to if their kids are bus riders for yes. the upcoming school year. So what do parents need to do? Yes, so uh, coming up soon, it's going to be after July, once we update the system to the new 22, 23, 24 school year. Um, they're going to need to go in there and uh, check the check the checkbox that their student's going to ride the bus. Uh, that's going to let our transportation department know to route those kids and uh, schedule those for bus riders. So that's going to be an extremely important thing for parents to do and be aware of uh, in the upcoming couple months or so. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more messages that go out. As long as your contact information is up to date and focused, you'll get those messages saying, hey, you need to go if you're going to be a bus rider and update your bus rider information. So keep your contact information up to date yes. is what he's saying. And mm -hmm. is there a deadline to check that box for bus riders? Um, no, it'll be open uh, throughout to the beginning of school to make sure everybody has the ability to make that choice. Um, and if you don't have a parent portal, contact your student's school someone at the school will be able to assist you in getting that account created and walking through all the steps and getting linked up with your student. And you all also have an app that people can download as well, right? Yes, uh, there is an Android and iOS app for our Focus uh, Parent Portal. Just go and search for Bay District Schools Focus app and it'll pull up and install. And as long as you have your Parent Portal account, you can log in and, and you'll be good to go. You'll see all your students' information right there. All right, thank you, Tim, so much for joining mm -hmm. us in studio today. And parents, remember to keep your contact information updated on your parent portal and fill out that bus rider information. All right, All right stay with thank us. You. Dan has a weather question of the day that's coming up next.